Go. I only, and one and go. My name is John and I'm presenting about the Cold War. Okay. What is the Cold War? Okay. The Cold War was the tension and rivalry between the United States and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, that it, which is the old name of Russia. Mm -hmm. okay. Both sides got involved in other conflicts in the world to either stop the spread of communism or help the spread of communism. USA didn't want the spread of communism, and USSR, USSR wanted, wanted the spread of communism. This occurred from 1945 to 1991. The Cold War was a scary war at the time, which included the fight between communism and the democracy, competition of the atomic power, and finally the ending of the Cold War. There were some causes of the Cold War. The United States and the USSR were the two world superpowers at the time. The United States was a capitalist society with a democracy, and the USSR was a communist country with a dictatorship. They both, they both wanted to be the most powerful nation in the world. The USSR had a lot of influence over many of the new communist countries. The United States was very worried that the USSR's influence over the countries was making the USSR and communism more powerful. Another cause of the Cold War was atomic power. The United States had shown its atomic power when it exploded the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. The United USSR was also developing atomic weapons. The United States and the USSR were in competition with each other to have the best, most powerful weapons in the world. And this was called the arms race. Trying to explain this one? Um, this is the flag of the United States and the flag of the USSR. Okay. We oh, this in the picture of Cold War. Okay. Yep, yeah, there's that's where the Soviet Union is and the United States are. Yeah. More pictures. More pictures. Ooh, what's happening here? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the atomic bomb was uh -huh. one, yeah. the practicing yes. kind of dropping it. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Yes, and yes, sir. Okay. So um, the leaders, the leaders of the United States and the yes. Arms race. Arms race. <laughs> it's funny. Is this the real bomb? Uh huh. Yep. Oh. The real atomic bomb. Why is it all right? The Cold War finally ended in the early nineties. In 1985, the new Soviet leader was Mikhail Gorbachev, and he began to move away from communism. The United States and the USSR signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF Treaty and removed medium and short range nuclear missiles. Then the burning world fell down. East and West Germany re reunited, and finally, the Soviet Union broke up into independent republics and the Cold War ended. I chose this topic because the Cold War is important to learn and it looks really interesting. The Cold War is important to learn because it is one of the biggest and rare numbers. There was compet competition of nuclear missiles, so from this competition, the technologies of nuclear weapons got much better. Also from this war, the USSR, the Soviet Union, separated into Russia and some other countries. Positive things are that it will remain in history forever, and the abilities of the countries got better. However, even today, there are arguments and dislikes between countries of communism and countries with democracy. The ending of the Cold War did not help that. By this research of the Cold War, I learned a lot of things, and I, could, I, recommend, it, I recommend other students to search and learn about the Cold War. Okay.